What's up, my Koopa Troop? It's Koop. Anita. Welcome back to another. Oh, <laughs> welcome back to another episode of Plants for Zombies: Battle for Neighborville. Last time around. Ooh. Oh, you just got 15,000 coins. Can you share some? Yeah, it's for starting the episode, 15,000 coins and a level up. Woo, hey, nice. baby. Nice way to start this episode Last off. time around, we did <laughs> the uh, battle chest. For the plants. For the plant in side. town center. Now we're going to head on to the garden ops in town center for the plants. we got here Mark. Oh, hey, friend. You look like the helpful type. My name's Mark, and it's, like, seriously cool to meet you. I bet my brother, Sergeant Peel, told you about me. Bet he didn't tell you his name is Clementine. <laughs> he acts tough, but he's really a softie. He assigned me to Ops Detail, which is so chill. But here's an idea. What have you covered for me? Just a few missions. You just help Crazy Day protect those guard gardenators. Yeah, that's what they call them. They help keep Neighborville smelling fresh. Now, you can do it the boring Clementine way. By going to that garden to start a fight. Oh, you can do my three trippy ops assignments. First one, you can win ops as an acorn. Need a B corn? I don't want a C corn. I want A corn. Do all three and don't tell Clementine about this. And I'll hook you up, my dude. Oh, he's got the stuff. Ooh, yeah, he definitely seems like he's got the stuff looking at that hairstyle. <laughs> yeah. Or just that, what's grown out of his head, I should say. <laughs> well, Orch is mold, and he's a moldy orange. All right, so he wants me to win <laughs> off as an acorn. All right, then I'm going to need to respawn. As we know, starting this ops here, uh, we'll instantly get you into the ops mode itself, so make sure you pick your character before entering the challenge. So acorn here. I don't think I have anything different with him. Oh, wait, I do have a little rabbit hat. You are the... Okay, oh. yeah, great. Okay. Great, amazing. Yeah. Good stuff. I bet you don't even have a brother. Must be nice. Hey, what are you talking about? He's right here with me. Bro, come on. We're playing together. Oh, bro. We're bros. Okay. Hey, my dude. All right. Let's do it. I will play. Koops is on the bottom playing as Citron. Yep. Enob is on top playing as Acorn. I don't know if we've shown off a lot of these characters before. No. Uh, we've shown off Acorn a, a little bit here and there. Um, talking about some of the abilities. Um, I believe. I don't know if we've played a Citron or not. But Citron, I don't believe we've actually shown off yet in this series. Now, the Citron is kind of the same old, same old as he used to be. He has the L1 EM Peach, which uh, stuns enemies and depletes Z Mech uh, fuel, which is really nice to help mm. get them out. Your uh, yeah. triangle is a dash. I do have to say, though, I it seems like his uh, EM Peach isn't, isn't as effective on ZMAX as it used to be in Garden Warfare 2. Yes, I think it's a I think it's been nerfed a little bit. Yeah. And then a Dash, and then R1 is a laser beam that builds up damage over time. Mm. So that's, that's a little different from the one he had in the... In what did he even Warfare have, 2? honestly? I'm trying to remember. Uh, for the laser beam... Um, Gosh, now you got me thinking about it too. Yeah, <laughs> I actually, I'm, I'm stuck a little bit. I, I, to be honest, I didn't play Citron a ton ever, because I'm not, I don't love the defensive nature of him. But he is good. I will say that. So his unique thing is his L2 is a shield, mm. and with the shield, it means I can't actually aim in. But <laughs> the the shield is pretty much like immune to damage and slowly. Uh, it, it takes damage, but it takes a long time to destroy it. It's a really helpful for your team uh, when you're going pushing points and things like that. Like if I stand in front of the acorn, he can mm -hmm. shoot through it. I actually cannot shoot when my shield is up. Mm -hmm. Really? No. Interesting. So that's actually changed. I can't shoot at all. Uh, there is no ability for me to shoot there. So that is changed. They wanted him to be either like defensive or offensive. They didn't want him to hide behind a shield and shoot. The only thing I have a little bit concerned with that is then they gave the the corn kernel corn. The same uh -huh. ability with the Shogun shield. Oh. Where he has a shield yeah. and he can shoot. And he can shoot. Yeah. So it's, it's a little, I find it a little weird, but it, this guy is like clearly a much larger shield and it can <laughs> defend against like plant stuff behind him. So mm. kind of get it, kind of don't. All right. Acorn here. One of the new characters in the, the Gun Warfare series. Um, I'm pretty sure we've shown off the acorn a bit more. It can transform into oak, and if the other acorns are playing, they can join on top of the oak and provide some assistance and attack as well. Um, but essentially, it's like you want to play as the quick, small, uh, quick light character, um, or do you want to play as the, the sturdy 
tough guy. I, does a lot of damage. I love playing as the oak. The only problem mm. is every one of the zombies just has a magnet towards you. Yeah. And they all just start <laughs> shooting the oak. Yeah. Ooh, good dodge there. <laughs> there was like a very, very smart play, but he's all started to use his rocket ride to jump out of the way of the uh, roll, the log roll in there. <laughs> oh, yeah, explain his abilities a little bit, because I don't think we've shown him off too much. No, okay. Yeah, so... Um, it doesn't really feel like we've talked a whole lot about the, the, the those abilities and stuff here. So, uh, the log rolling is roll for damage. Nice little uh, D and D reference there. <laughs> um, but essentially, I just yeah throw a whole a log, it splits into pieces forward, and um, yeah, they'll just roll into opponents and do some damage, not do some knockback. And there's actually an ability upgrade you can get, which will knock them back even further. Um, and the Super Sap Trap, which is an upgrade of the Sap Trap that the Acorn has, I launched a massive uh, sticky bomb. And if it connects with a zombie, it will stick with them. It'll stick on them. And then I press the, uh, the same ability button again to detonate it, and it does a massive amount of damage and a massive amount of knockback, too. Um, and to get in and out of Oak, uh, it's like that secondary ability. Now, what do we got here for this wave here? <laughs> Counting the zombies is like, what? <laughs> Ah, crazy Dave. Roll for damage. <laughs> yeah, that one TV hit just cut his head in the way. Yeah. <laughs> Took all the damage there instead. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Missed that one. Now, uh, with the acorns, with the acorn sap trap actually, you can use it to to bounce up and uh, up and away to high places kind of like a, a rocket jump so that's actually a little fun ability you can do with the, the acorn to get around the map quite, quite a bit it knocks back zombies and stuff as well but also the acorn so that can be used quite effectively in battles and uh to get to different places so you know it's not necessarily always the oak show when it comes to acorn but uh yeah the the, the oak is in my opinion the, the better of, of this class, but again, you're the giant walking target for zombies when that happens. Well, so they, I don't know. They yeah. just wanted a plant version of the mech from the imp. Right. That that's true. So that's what they base it off of, obviously. They, they kind of base off of that, and then they also give the zombies their own sort of acorn with the space cadets <laughs> that yeah. can transform into the space station that have their space cadets joined to that. So that's true. They kind of combine the two of them. Mm, I yeah. Guess. Can you get me with that? Uh-uh. <laughs> Use my quick escape there. Or actually, it's called Acorn Dash. Oh. I like my name better. <laughs> What's this? Why is he just <laughs> dancing there? He's just dancing there. <laughs> He's just vibing. I'm sorry I got to ruin your vibe there, Angie, but... uh. <laughs> He's not even trying to take out the point. He's just dancing. <laughs> he thought this was a dance battle. <laughs> no, wrong, wrong battle there, engineer. <laughs> I'm back into the uh, the oak so I can get some more damage. Oh gosh! Ooh. Bowling pin, line them up. Ooh! <laughs> oh, just a big target. <laughs> oh, hey, we got a mech over here. It's being the impeachment. I, did I not? Wait, did I not impeach this guy? Yeah, see, it, the EMP just like definitely feels. Like, but nerfed, I don't think it did anything. It over two. It, it, like, like it completely missed. But that can't be the case because I hit it. I hit him with it. As far as I'm concerned, as far as I thought. Right, maybe I need to just go. <laughs> the acorn form to hit this guy's uh, weak point. There we go. Hmm. Okay. Unless my EMP did no damage or I missed. I can't. I don't know. Because his, uh, his mech HP fuel looked like it didn't even decrease. Yeah. I, I don't know. I, again, it just feels like they really nerfed the EMP versus mech in this game compared to how it was in Over for 2. Where but it, it literally like, stopped the mech for like, <laughs> it felt like a minute. Well, it's supposed to just lower and, his fuel. But and lower the fuel consumption. In yeah. this one. Uh, that's all it does, I think. The good thing oh. against about it is it stuns oh, zombies. zombies. Yeah. But I think it just lowers fuel. I don't think it stuns or anything like that. Hmm. Okay. Or maybe it stuns also the same as it does regular. What we got here? Oh, a double boss, boss. wave here. 
But they're not elites. They're not elites. That also means we gotta defend, uh, protect. Yeah, that is being protected. The Gardenator. Oh, over on this, to the right side, we've got the, uh, Yeti Yim. Yeti Yim, no, Yeti Zombie. Get him, bonk, bonk choy. Get him. <laughs> Do something. <laughs> Did I plant you for no reason? <laughs> okay, this guy. Possibly. Actually, did bonk choy die? He was there right behind him. I don't know. Unless he died at the freeze, actually. He might have when the guy jumped. <laughs> yeah. That's a pretty effective strategy right there. He's using the super sap trap to knock zombies back and then throw a roll for damage their way. So they get knocked into the air. And as soon as they land, a giant log greets them on the ground. Got a bunch of zombies back in here. Base. Okay. <laughs> and there they go. Jumps. I find it really hard to aim that ability. Their R1 laser. Yeah. It's accurate, but I think it's just because of this over the uh, shoulder perspective in this game. Sometimes it's yeah. hard to aim little things like that. I think, wasn't the uh, his standard uh, laser beam before, wasn't it just like a quick, powerful shot? I think it was a, a blast shot. Yeah, instead of a, a long charge shot, like, or long shot like it is now. I kind of like the quick blast shot, too. Mm. But I say that, and I didn't even remember what it was, so I yeah. clearly didn't like it that much. Yeah. Okay, so Citron has never, has never really been our favorite class. Though, I mean, it is fun to roll around, like, really fast <laughs> at the speed of sound. <laughs> but, uh... I don't know. Just figure if you're gonna pick a, a fast sort of offensive character, you'd want to go for like a pea shooter or something on the nice team. Instead. Stop it! Oh, I can actually jump out of the uh, the the disco ball or no? What is it? Whatever the. Uh, God, the Whoa! The, the did I die? Ball. Oh. I guess you did. To what? Wait, I'm not sure. What happened to me there? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, but you didn't. You didn't get knocked out. What happened? I it made them sound like I died. And did you get spawned me in? Did you? Oh, the, did you get the was the boogie gravity ball? I forgot what her. But it moves teleported called. me away instantly. It must have. It, did it knock you off the docks then? Maybe that's what happened. I'm gonna have to watch the video of that. I'm not really <laughs> sure what <laughs> yeah. happened. Okay, well we uh, cleared the ops though. Op till you don't drop. There nice. That was the first one. We have more options. Yep. Hey, we are talking over here. Excuse you. <laughs> Look at that, my dude. You did the first challenge. Now for challenge two. Do a round of ops as uh, that pretty funky nightcap. She's awesome, right? All those wild spore abilities? I wish I could do this one. But these hemp bicycle locks <laughs> aren't going to sell themselves down by the river. <laughs> Living in a van down by the river. <laughs> nice. Sorry, like uh, reference there. Um, okay, so I'm gonna need to be the nightcap for this one. Let me switch it up too while All we're right. at it. Yeah. So the Citron was actually really solid there, honestly. Hmm. I thought I thought overall that was a like, oh. yeah helpful. I could do damage. Felt better than like the cactus. <laughs> er, uh, interesting. Okay, you know, that, uh, I'll do. I'll just do that. <laughs> it's time to be. The sunflower. All right. Back to the nightcap. Shun her off a little bit before the switch version. The same <laughs> here as it, it was is, is there. So much actually, more really to say about her than that. Actually, the sunflower will not be the best here because I hopefully will not be reviving people. And my ability I have is blossom, which actually heals multiple allies. And there's only you and me. Well, you can actually also heal the potted plants. I can heal the potted plants, So you can too. heal multiple potted plants at a time with that ability. So, not there. the word. Well, eh, there probably has a better one, but it's not terrible, I guess. Yeah, it's not Yeah, it's not the worst, but... All right. Speaking of potted plants, let's put some in. Uh, What plants do you like to put down, on, like, in these certain areas? Um... I don't know. The zombies walk up. Melee feels pretty okay there, but... Melee, or I, I like putting the, uh... Oh, it's, you know, I, I was just about to say, I like putting the uh, the goop shroom there, but it actually works completely different in this game than he used to in the other games. Um, before, he would uh, spit a bunch of goop out, which slowed zombies down, 
But in this one, he actually just spits out like a sort of goop. Uh, wow, they like, already killed my guy. Wow, well, they already killed all these guys. <laughs> oh dang. Um, that does damage to them over time. It's sort of like how the Chompers Brody group has uh, changed in this game. It's just being sort of like a cloud of, of toxic goo or whatever. That's what the goop shooting now does instead of slowing zombies down. So it would have been, it, it, you know, I think it would have been good. It's still fine to put up in that area in the front because they have to walk through that area so they can't get out of that the goo cloud. So it's, it's not, it's, that's actually not a bad choice to put there. But yeah, melee uh, pot of plant probably a better one. Well, I say that, and both the plants I planted instantly died over here. <laughs> I had a long My range. plants are still alive. The thing is, though, I think it's a little unfair. I'm pretty sure the guy spawned right here. Yeah, there was a, there were a bunch of uh, zombies right next to them, so. <laughs> yeah, essentially, these pot of plants aren't really expected to last that long in, in these rounds of ops. I'm just sad about the bonk choy. That thing used to just one-shot regular zombies Back and knock their, for one. It it knock was, their heads it, off. It, it was, was amazing. So destructive in Garmin for one. It was a little broken actually because you yeah. plant it and, and humans would walk <laughs> by a little. It and get three and, shot by it, go boom, 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 boom. boom. <laughs> and they yeah, didn't even know what happened. It's like, what was that? Oh, it was the bonk choy, of course. It's because they had crazy high attack speed uh, for that thing. Oh, wow. Yeah, actually, uh, Nightcap is fairly effective in Ops when there's a whole bunch of, like, weak little zombies gripped up like that. You just use the Feng Fu and just destroy them all. <laughs> what do you think you're doing back here, Captain Deadbeard? <laughs> Where do you think you're going? <laughs> Where do you think you're going? See, your Scary Scream's not working great over here. It's literally just no. hiding the whole time. Yeah, because as soon as they get close, it will just go into hiding. I was hoping the zombies would actually spawn a little further away than that, but they yeah, spawn they, pretty they close. They don't in this actually mode, spawn pretty yeah. close. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Now again with the uh, nightcaps, what is it called? The casting shadows actually hide all allies inside that uh, aura there, while zombies get get stuck in there, um, move around real slow. Uh, so it's doubly effective. And it's also really good against AI because, like, as soon as, as, soon as you kind of step into there, the AI don't know at all, like, where all you went, and they just kind of start ignore you, <laughs> wander somewhere else or whatever. So you see, can do a bunch of damage to them. You can see, look, if you stand right a little bit closer to your, there, I can actually heal everything right there. Wow. But it's based on you. It's very weird. Nope. Thundering Thumpers. A zombie bomb is coming. And up oh, that way. So we want to go knock this out as quick as we can. Yeah, guard carrying a giant bomb. Oh, you're just melting that poor dude. Yeah, <laughs> the sunflower is not actually super damaging fire-wise, but that beam they added, they gave him so much damage. But the downside in this game is they took away all your other options for dealing damage besides a regular shot. And that beam. <laughs> hey, stop attacking this guy. Go. Oh, hey, someone got past. Oh. Oh, nice. There you go. Yep. Well, that was supposed to be a threat because that guy's bomb would do tons of damage to your thing. Mm -hmm. But we actually melted him far off. So. Huh. Okay. Well, that le the uh, lightning reed's still there. <laughs> yeah, it hasn't died yet, and I keep healing it. So. <laughs> uh, Doing it's good do there, buddy. It's doing his work, yeah. Yeah, Doom Shroom. Oh, the Doom Shroom also was just a force to be reckoned with in the original Garden Warfare game. That thing was also really <laughs> great. You'd walk and just go <laughs> boom, and everyone dies. <laughs> it was like a five mile radius. It was stupidly powerful. Oh, that didn't work so well. <laughs> so I got hit by that ZPG. Oh, Ooh. Go this way. Oh, we got a bunch of zombies up in the front. <laughs> I don't know we've talked too much about my L1, which is I throw out heals, little sun heals. That's different. Uh, yeah, that's true. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think we talked about it a little bit. 
I, was, I played as a sunflower. The, the oh, that's episode. true. Yeah. yeah, and talked about how no longer put down a potted plant in front of you or around you or whatever, or even a plant that, that shoots for you. <laughs> we have a lot of people back here. Oh god. Yeah. All right. Fun food time. Oh no. Oh. Yeah. Knocked out. Yeah. That was actually a really well placed uh, boogie bomb or boogie ball, whatever it, stupid ability is called. The yeah, <laughs> electric slide there. I just got tackled. Oh my gosh, look at all these zombies. Yikes, they're doing a number on the gutter nader. Okay. There we go. I'm gonna die. There we go. Oh, I'm gonna die. Let's go blow up. Woo. Okay. Uh, the only problem with my, my standard shots actually can't really aim like or no I can aim them but they're just like against those outhouse zombies it's really tough to aim for like any weak spot wow they did so much damage there yeah. there's a hundred of them 21% left on the gardenator Oof. Well, maybe, it, no, maybe it'd be an elite wave <laughs> yeah elite would be great actually at this point Or we need to plant these before time runs out because you can't plant once the mission round starts. Uh, you can still plant, however, you can't replant. Oh, okay. When the starts. All right, where are we gonna get this time around? Maybe an elite zombie? No, oh, another double. That's bad actually for us. We need an elite yeah, to because right. elite would take away our defending. Yeah, to take away the gardenator and stuff. So we don't have to worry about defending it. But they're oh, and they're spawn over here. There. I'm gonna get knocked. Dang it, I hate those little guys because they can knock you like that. <laughs> there we go. Alright. Other side. Let's go, go, go. Oh. Well, <laughs> randoms in the middle here. Stop. Not messing with our plants. I'm just gonna weaken this outhouse zombie, but he's actually far away. I'm gonna hope my guys can. Oh, there's a lot of them coming in. Never mind. I gotta say, this little uh, lightning zombie, uh, lightning plant, looks like it's doing pretty well overall. Lightning ring, yeah, is still still a pretty good plant, I'd say. Pot to put down. Uh, might be a little weakened compared to the other, uh, like compared to before, but it's still pretty good overall. I'd say. <laughs> what are you dancing for, Electric Slide? <laughs> Just took out that one poor potted plant. Want to be the center of attention? Okay. <laughs> Yeah, that's not about the worst spot to stand there and dance. Actually, just ate everything the whole time. Wow, there we go. Yeah, all right. Not as bad as I was thinking it would be, but... Could have been worse there, yeah. but yeah, we got through that one. That, that, those la the one zombie stood there, and we just beamed him, and that one just stood there and danced. We beamed that one. <laughs> yeah. beamed that one too. Just couldn't help it. When they, feel, when they hear that groove Feeling, go, feeling the groove. They, they just, couldn't help themselves. Right. They had to dance. <laughs> Body. It can't stop. <laughs> the music's too good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there, Mark. We've done another ops challenge for you. What do you have to say about that? Wait, you get 10k coins, but I only think I get like 25, yeah. don't I? It doesn't. Wow. It doesn't show I'm me, like though. blown away. I just saw a fly land on a butterfly that landed on some butter. Whoa. Oh, and you didn't do the second challenge. Yeah, uh, uh, time for number three. You gotta win ops as a, a cool snapdragon. After you're done, come see me for your ward, dude. Reno. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I just exude great vibes, man. <laughs> Snapdragon. I love playing as a Snapdragon. It's one of my favorite characters they added. Mm -hmm. uh, it is actually. Like yeah. I said, it's like a fire chomper with a little bit mo more mobility. Mm -hmm. uh, but otherwise, it plays very similar. It's fun though. I like that one a lot. In fact, I actually will go be a chomper. Oh yeah. Sure. Okay. Yeah. All my, right, then I shall. Then I'll have to, I'll have to be the Snapdragon. 
All right. Metal Chomper and Whoop. Snapdragon. Yeah, they're zombies. Okay. And begin the ops. <laughs> so I think this should actually go pretty well. You do a lot of little AOE in front mm -hmm. at nearby enemies, which yeah. there's going to be a lot of. Mm -hmm. And then I chomp through little guys real quick. Right. Snapdragon again, is pretty good with the mid-range fights. Um, can do fairly well up close, but I'd say again, probably the best is about the mid-range where it's like where he's you can reach with that fire shot where it was playing through our breath there. You know, the other problem with the, the chomper is that it's a sniper class, and so... Right? <laughs> yeah, actually, the, the chomper, we're, I think, is probably more effective at sniping than the Snapdragon. We're joking a little bit here, but the... <laughs> the uh, so this is my standard attack, which is all melee range, but then this thing is a pinpoint accurate high damage long range attack. It's pretty funny. <laughs> there we go. Oh, there's an imp over here. <laughs> oh, firewall! <laughs> That's gonna do some damage. Protect from any unwanted spam. Zombies. The scientist is desperately trying to heal everyone. <laughs> They're all dead already. <laughs> yeah. Oh, where do you think you're going? <laughs> Who am I supposed no, to you heal? don't. Nuh uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I need to favorite some of these. There we go. Okay. Any? Yeah. Unfortunately, some potted Oops. plants. I did not mean to plant that. Oh, dang it! That thing's dead. <laughs> <laughs> I planted a heal flower out there in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> it's so useless. Whoops. Whoopsie Whoopsie daisies. <laughs> yeah, that thing's gone. Oh, speaking of which, there used to be that um, in the first Garden Warfare game, did they had the uh, the daisy? Yeah. No. <laughs> Marigold? No, what was it called? The one that just spat out coins. Yeah. Instead of help. Marigold. Yeah. Which now is the tre that treasure thing that runs yeah. around. <laughs> God, you're, you got that. All right, I'm moving over <laughs> here. There we go. Yeah, Snapdragon is really effective against uh, sort of small waves of zombies like this. Ah, engineers, stun, stun horns there. Come on, blue blazes. No, <laughs> blue blazes. Uh, Where do you think you're going? Yeah, the homing in this game is a little to be desired. It, some of them it's, can be kind of annoying, but a lot of times it just... Hits wall. Or, Hits walls all the time, or yeah. floors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, things like that. Yeah, I'm gonna help these guys out by planting little snare traps right there. Oh, uh, your sunflower didn't make it. Well, I'm shocked. Actually, I suppose I could just plant a couple right here too as defense. <laughs> what we got here? Vanquish the treasure yeti. All right. It's just a little fun uh, challenge here. Just make sure you can get some uh, the money. Where's he going? Get over here. <laughs> no, not one of those zombies gonna get it. <laughs> get back here! I can't bite him, obviously, but I'm using that to get closer. Beat him? Yep. Okay, that's it. All right. Hmm. Okay. Look out! Oh, bomb you. Bomb. All right. There we go. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and another wave complete. Yeah. The. Your Snapdragon is handling these waves mm -hmm. pretty well. Yeah. The fire and that wall of flame is so good versus all these little guys. And then you can plant it right at the point, and it just gives an AOE for a while that hurts them. Yeah. 
Yeah, very good plant to use in Garden Ops, I'd say, the Snapdragon. And I'd say, actually, the Chopper feels pretty solid, too. Honestly, yeah, the Chopper's not that bad either, because you can place on those traps. Uh, and Slows also, people down. Chomp's good, too. And, and Chomp's good in the... In the uh, and Goop's good. Actually, really good. good. I would say my Y... Or, sorry, the triangle in this game is not as good. Because <laughs> really, it's good against bigger zombies, but... It's still not bad. Oh, we got an imp in the mech over here. I got one over here, too. Oh, we got two. <laughs> one. That's two. Wait, what happened to my... I guess I got knocked out of my dig. Hmm? How'd that happen? I don't know. I just popped right out of it. A nice quality of life change they made is you can just hold down the trigger now for the chomper. Any oh. auto. Yeah. Bomb. Uh, attacks. It used to not be like that in uh, other games. In fact, I think that was actually kind of a glitch you could do to make it auto attack in like the future for games, but they actually just decided to go ahead and make that <laughs> an actual ability for the chomper. <laughs> or, yeah. There we go. Anyone else? Yeah. Move that over here. Nice. We've got him. Another mech. Okay. Wall of flames. Yeah, back up. Back up. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Woo. Yeah, dang. Our uh, combined work here is making short work of these zombies. <laughs> All right. Last wave is upon us. Already last wave. Who are we yeah. going to get? Hopefully, an elite zombie. Or yeah, elite zombie to fight. I would say that we're actually better against uh, probably minions than yeah. bosses. Yeah, I guess that's I, true. I, I mean, we're pretty okay at bosses, but we don't have a long range like beam. I gotta go run up and chomp and take damage. Yeah. So we'll find out who we're gonna face. Two gargantuars, the mech one, and the standard. Okay. Okay. I found the mech over here on the left side. <laughs> hey, you killed everyone. So there's that one guy right there. I like tried. It. Actually, <laughs> I missed him slightly. <laughs> yeah, just stand in that goop there, buddy. Oh, just feeling the heat there. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ouch. Back to base. Where's my blue places going? There's a guy right in front of me, and it just went for somewhere else. <laughs> See, here's where the chomp's good, though. I can now eat an outhouse zombie in one bite. Yeah. Use that, just take the shield <laughs> off them, or their outhouse off them. It still is pretty powerful to do just that. Yes, Doom Shroom. Nice. <laughs> Oh, here comes the next gargantuar. Which side? Oh, uh, right you? side. Yep. I'm clearing out some regular guys. Okay. Bye bye, super brain. <laughs> Can you take him out? I'll repeat it again. Oh, it's getting kind of close. There we go. Nope. There we are. Bumbling barbecues. Huh? <laughs> Some snapdragon. I get it. <laughs> All right. That's it. Nice. Yeah, with that combination there, it was quite effective. That was pretty out, effective uh, against uh, everyone. Waves of zombies. I think, I don't even know, double Snapdragon might be great, too. I will say, though, the Chomper, like I said, I, I was thinking, oh, Triangle's not that great. The, the, but against, the like, ability, yeah. But against, like, Super Brains and stuff and All-Stars in that mode, mm -hmm. which are normally a little bit tankier, you just eat them in one go, yeah. and they're gone. Yeah, so it's actually too. 
So it's pretty good in that sense. Yeah, Those and, don't, take a while. and don't forget your goop. Actually, that's quite effective against the little guys as well. Yeah, this goop of it right there. Mm, yeah. That's All right, lot. Mark. One, three ops. See, what I tell you, these wars, battles, <laughs> chores, just kind of do themselves. I'm here because my uptight brother, Clementine, thought there'd be lots to do. But of myself, the universe... And Blamo, you came along! Yay! You know, the, the Gantry McCall and whatnot. Yeah, universe is cool. Mark is the citron of his word. So when he says he hook you up, he will hook you up, man. What you want? I got lots. Uh, oh, 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 yeah, I'm Mark. <laughs> well, uh, hey, yeah, thanks for having me with Team SDEM, my pal. Yeah, so, uh, so 25,000 coins, is, is that is that the hook up there? I... I <laughs> Oh, and tacos. I, I can get those from zombies, too. Okay. See, for me... Oh, wait, no, hang on. Don't say to climb that. I think for me... No. I just... Because I've beat it before, it gives us just... Uh, it, it just gives lesser you... Lesser rewards. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. you try, if you clear the ops and stuff again, you just get less and less each time around. Or no, just after after the first time. Well, that's it. That's the... uh Hello there. <laughs> <laughs> We gotta get that guy. Went <laughs> 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 oh. So sad. <laughs> his mind was blown as well as the rest of his body. <laughs> That'll be Boom. the end of this episode. That was all of the garden ops for in, the plants. In town center. In town center. Hope you join us for the next time when we play some more Plants for Zombies Battle for Neighborville. We'll be doing something else. And we'll hopefully see you then. Till next time. GG.